You know how we hear about the biggest, most dangerous predators today? Lions, tigers, and sharks? Well, what if I told you there was an animal 260 million years ago that made all of them look like puppies? This wasn't a dinosaur. It was a prehistoric beast, a super predator long before T-Rex or raptors ever roamed the earth. Its skull was thick enough to ram into rivals headfirst like a living battering ram. It wasn't just about hunting. It owned the land. This giant ruled the earth when the planet was full of creatures you've probably never even heard of. Yet, this monster was the one at the top. Antiosaurus was part of a group of animals called therapsids, a class that lived millions of years before the first dinosaurs even appeared. While dinosaurs would eventually become the most well-known creatures of prehistory, therapsids like Antiosaurus were the true heavyweights of the Permian period. This was a time when the Earth was ruled by strange, alien-like creatures, many of which were unlike anything we see today. Standing nearly 10 feet tall and stretching over 20 feet long, Antiosaurus was a true beast. But what made it stand out wasn't just its size. It had a skull so thick it was practically armored, built to withstand blows from enemies or rivals. This thick skull also made it a master of headbutting. Think of it as a prehistoric fighter with a helmet made of bone. Antiosaurus wasn't just chasing prey, it was a hunter that charged headfirst into battle, using its skull to dominate its enemies. But this wasn't just about brute force. Antiosaurus also had sharp serrated teeth that could rip through flesh and bone. Its bite was powerful, capable of crunching through the toughest armor of other creatures. When it wasn't fighting rivals or larger predators, Antiosaurus was a top predator, hunting down the large herbivores that roamed the land. But the world Antiosaurus lived in wasn't like today's. The Permian period was full of strange creatures you wouldn't recognize. This was long before the first dinosaurs ever walked the Earth. The planet was filled with oddly shaped reptiles, huge amphibians, and bizarre ancestors of mammals. The air was thick with oxygen and plants and trees were just starting to dominate the landscape. Among these creatures were others like Enostrancevia and Scutosaurus, which were also tough predators and armored herbivores. Antiosaurus didn't have the landscape to itself. There were plenty of competitors and threats, but what made Antiosaurus different was its ferocity and adaptability. While many of the other predators were slower or more specialized in their hunting styles, Antiosaurus could adapt and take on different roles in the ecosystem. It wasn't just about scavenging, it was about being an active, powerful hunter, moving from one prey to the next. But as we all know, in the wild, the fight for survival is constant, and Antiosaurus wasn't immune to this struggle. Even though it had the size and strength to dominate, there were always challenges. In the Permian, environmental changes were starting to happen. The climate was becoming increasingly harsh. The Earth was undergoing shifts that would change everything. And as the landscape changed, Antiosaurus had to compete with newer, faster, and more efficient hunters. Even with all its power, Antiosaurus didn't have it easy. The world it lived in was harsh and constantly changing. It wasn't just battling other predators, it was facing changing climates and shifting landscapes. The Permian period was a time of great upheaval. The continents were moving, and this meant the climate was shifting. In some areas, the land became dry and arid, while others were constantly flooded with water. Forests were growing thick, creating dense, swampy areas that weren't always ideal for a heavy predator like Antiosaurus. It had to adapt to these changing conditions. If Antiosaurus didn't have the right prey in one area, it would have to move somewhere else. The landscape was unpredictable, and so was the food supply. Herbivores, like Scutosaurus, were often heavily armored, meaning Antiosaurus couldn't just tear through them like softer prey. It had to strategize its hunts. Whether it was sneaking up on weaker animals or fighting off other predators for its meal, Antiosaurus wasn't just the king of the food chain by strength alone. It also had to be smart. It was a predator that had to learn, adapt, and fight for its meals every single day. But it wasn't just about food. The ecosystem was filled with constant competition. Other predators were evolving too, and Antiosaurus didn't have a free pass. 
creatures like Gorgonopsids, large saber-toothed predators, began appearing and challenging Antiosaurus dominance. These creatures had sharper teeth, faster reflexes, and were just as powerful in their own right. The competition wasn't just physical, it was mental. Antiosaurus had to stay ahead in the race for survival. Even as Antiosaurus reigned over its territory, it faced newer and more dangerous challenges. The world around it was changing in ways it hadn't seen before. With new predators showing up and environmental shifts causing food shortages, Antiosaurus was forced to stay on its toes. And it wasn't just the predators it had to worry about. The world itself was becoming a more dangerous place. The land was in the middle of huge geological changes. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and massive shifts in the continents were causing chaos in the environment. These events not only threatened the survival of Antiosaurus, but also impacted its prey. With so many creatures dying off or being displaced, it became harder for Antiosaurus to find food. But this monster had survived for millions of years. It had seen and conquered so much, and still, it found ways to thrive. Its armored skull and powerful jaws kept it at the top of the food chain for a long time. Antiosaurus was a predator of its time, built to dominate everything in its path. But as the world moved toward its next chapter, the very forces that made Antiosaurus a super predator also led to its ultimate downfall. The Permian period was full of life, strange, wild creatures that existed in a world completely different from what we know today. But Antiosaurus was a living testament to how unpredictable the course of life can be. It was a species built for survival. The sheer size, strength, and hunting ability of Antiosaurus gave it a major edge over its competitors. However, these same advantages would eventually play a part in its extinction too. The world was changing fast, and Antiosaurus had survived the Permian chaos, but it wouldn't survive the new challenges that were about to emerge. With the rise of more agile, specialized predators, Antiosaurus's broad, all-purpose hunting style began to seem more outdated. The world was shifting toward an age dominated by more efficient hunters, ones that could adapt to the new conditions. Even creatures that seemed invincible in the past weren't immune to evolutionary pressure. As the dinocephalians slowly disappeared, they made way for new predators. And the dinosaurs were right around the corner. As the world around Antiosaurus continued to change, the land began to shift toward an entirely different era. The Triassic period. The rise of new species, the spread of dinosaurs, and the changing climate created a radically new environment one where the mighty Antiosaurus couldn't survive. Dinosaurs, the creatures that would come to dominate the Earth for millions of years, were already evolving in the shadows. And although Antiosaurus was tough, it was a creature of the Permian world, not the Triassic. The landscape was changing. The oxygen levels were dropping. The temperatures were rising. And new forms of life were beginning to take over. And as Earth entered the Triassic, the Permian megafauna like Antiosaurus were pushed out by the younger, faster, and more adaptable species. Antiosaurus, despite all of its strength and dominance, couldn't evolve fast enough. Its time had passed. The planet was now preparing for a new ruler, a ruler that would change the face of life on Earth forever, the dinosaurs. Now, before we get into the dinosaurs, let's talk about what made this transition so dramatic. The Permian-Triassic extinction event which occurred around 252 million years ago, was the most catastrophic event in Earth's history. Over 90% of life on the planet was wiped out. This was the greatest die-off in the planet's history. Antiosaurus was not immune. The drastic climate changes, floods, volcanic eruptions, and the spread of toxic gases destroyed ecosystems, leading to the extinction of countless species, including the mighty Antiosaurus. It didn't matter how powerful you were. The Earth was undergoing changes too massive to escape. Antiosaurus had been the top predator for millions of years. But when the extinction event hit, it was wiped from existence. Along with Antiosaurus, countless other creatures, many of which were already struggling in a rapidly changing world, were wiped out in an instant. With Antiosaurus and other Permian predators gone, the Earth began to shift to a new chapter. The dinosaurs, once hidden in the shadows of these earlier super predators,
began to rise in prominence. The shift from Permian life to Triassic life was nothing short of a revolution in Earth's ecosystems. Where Antiosaurus had once ruled, the dinosaurs now began to take their place, eventually dominating the land. These new creatures were more specialized, faster, and even better suited to the changing climate. While Antiosaurus was a massive, powerful beast, the dinosaurs had a different advantage, adaptability. They were the ultimate survivors of the Permian-Triassic extinction event, quickly filling the ecological niches left open after the collapse of earlier life forms. But even though Antiosaurus didn't live long enough to see dinosaurs rule the Earth, its legacy lived on. Without the rise of these early creatures, these pre-dinosaur giants, the dinosaurs may never have had the opportunity to evolve into the rulers of the Mesozoic era. Antiosaurus's story was, in a way, the first chapter in the massive story of prehistoric life. So what's left of Antiosaurus today? Why should we care about this ancient predator that lived long before the dinosaurs? For one, Antiosaurus represents a lost world, a world that existed before the dinosaurs, when life was dominated by bizarre creatures that seemed straight out of a science fiction movie. But Antiosaurus wasn't just any animal. It was the apex predator the ultimate hunter of its time. Its power, its dominance, and its ability to survive in a brutal, ever-changing world have made it a symbol of survival against all odds. Today, Antiosaurus may be long gone, but its existence helps us understand that Earth's history isn't just about dinosaurs. It's about the incredible diversity of life that existed before the age of the dinosaurs and how each chapter of life led to the next. Without Antiosaurus, there wouldn't be a story of survival that would lead to the evolution of the dinosaurs. Antiosaurus is a testament to evolution's strange ways, how a giant predator can rise to rule an ancient world and then disappear when the world itself changes too quickly. But Antiosaurus' story isn't just ancient history, it's a reminder of how fragile survival is. Today, we see the same forces at play, climate change, competition, and the rise and fall of species. Every species, no matter how dominant, is vulnerable to extinction if it can't adapt quickly enough. Antiosaurus' world is long gone, but it's part of a bigger story. Every extinct predator like Antiosaurus shows us just how interconnected life is. The rise and fall of species have shaped the Earth as we know it today. And in a way, the lessons from Antiosaurus' time still apply adapt, survive, or become part of the history books. The story of Antiosaurus is the story of survival, evolution, and extinction, a cycle that continues today. And even though this prehistoric predator no longer roams the Earth, its legacy reminds us that the world is a dangerous, unpredictable place where only the most adaptable survive. If you found the story of Antiosaurus fascinating, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more prehistoric tales. Stay fascinated!